This is Adam Cooper from the Goalies Are channel um, on YouTube. I'm doing a video today uh, regarding goalie sticks. And as many of you may know, I've been playing goal since late last year for the first time. So still in, in the early stages of my goalie career at about, uh, you know, give or take uh, seven or eight months. And I've had the opportunity to work with two different goalie sticks. Now, I'm in no ways affiliated with these two companies. Um, so my thoughts and opinions are my own and personal um, preferences. And thought I'd share some of my feedback on these two sticks. Really, we're, what I'm comparing here is not so much the brands per se, but really more the differences between a composite stick and a uh, foam core stick. So for me, uh, right off the bat, I would say that um, I've been very happy with the composite stick. I really love the, 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 the light feel of that stick versus a foam core. For Brian's versus Reebok composite stick. And um, what I'm looking to share with you today is uh, my thoughts and perspective on uh, what sticks work better for me, what my preference is uh, between the two. Obviously, every goalie's got different nuances and uh, preferences overall with respect to their sticks. Um, mine would be, if I had to choose between the two, would be the, the, the Reebok um, Premier uh, Luongo Senior Stick is better suited for my type of game. Um, but I know that uh, other goalies I talk to love to have a little bit more of a stick with some substance and, and weight to it. And so maybe uh, for others, this Brian's um, uh, foam core with wooden shaft stick is better aligned. I would say, um, first off, quick points about uh, each um, positives uh, for each of them. Uh, the positive on the Brian stick would be it's cheap. Um, you know, this is probably one of the cheaper sticks on the market you can buy. And so if you're on a budget, definitely something to think about. If you're a goalie that goes through sticks on a regular basis, that stick might be more appropriate for you as well. Um, the thing I... Um, also liked about the Brian stick is that it's very durable. I have had no issues with chipping of the paint or the shaft of the stick. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a beast and, and I expect that this stick will continue to be uh, used by me for quite some time. Um, the negative, as you can see here, um, didn't have any uh, grip, so I had to put some grip tape here. Not a really big deal in my opinion. Uh, pretty minor uh, actually. Um, so that that's one thing. With the weighted uh, shaft of the wood, um, I'm not particularly keen on that weight. And um, I'd probably get a different curve on that stick. It's got quite a bit of a, a curve you can see here. Um, which is great for shooting the puck up, but I'm not as big of a fan as the Reebok curve, which is uh, a little bit more of a less prominent toe curve than the Bryan's. Um, looking at the Reebok, uh, what is nice about this Premier stick is, is it's got an already built-in uh, tacky grip, so no need to um, tape this up and as you get into this white area nice and smooth to slide your hand for poke checks etc um, one of the things I didn't like about this stick it's getting pretty beat up from a paint and aesthetic perspective um, so that hasn't held up well uh, so it's it's just cosmetic right like this the, 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 the paint or the uh, lacquer on this is is peeling off after puck stops but the durability 
of these blades for both of them has been exceptional. Um, I tape my sticks fully to really uh, protect them nicely and get that durability um, and long-term protection. Um, other than that, um, the weight has been really solid for the Reebok. As many of you know, this Reebok is no longer in production and um, it's, it's been replaced by CCM. So I would say um, for purchasing uh, that stick, you could probably get some deals still on some bargain bins at various hockey um, stores or online. Uh, I know that uh, you could probably get this stick for a pretty decent price. Still, most likely a little bit more expensive than the Brian's uh, foam core sticks, but I would say definitely worth um, the price. Um, so overall, um, my preference as a goalie would be to stick with a composite stick as, you, as the main and uh, I'm still going to leverage this Brian's as my backup, and if I have a bad game, maybe switching between the two. But overall, um, two solid sticks and two really good options for uh, goalies to think about. So, in summary, um, here, here's what I would highlight about both sticks. So, positives for the Reebok, you've got very light stick, durable, cost-wise, um, pretty cheap. I think you can pick this stick up for maybe around $100, maybe a little bit less than that, um, as it is a discontinued brand and uh, stick today. Um, really like the grip associated with the stick, so I don't have to add any extra tape that um, gets worn and torn on there. Um, and then I would say the other benefit of the Reebok is it's just really durable overall. Have not had any noticeable breaks or anything like that in it. Negative would be that the Reebok is getting pretty chipped up. The paint and the lacquer that's on there is just coming apart um, on the, the main um, blocking part as well as the shaft. What I might worry about and we'll see if I have to do a follow-up post on this is um, if any of that gets splintered um, on, on the shaft that would be a problem for getting uh, some uh, splinters. Uh, with the Bryans that stick uh, highlight would be if you like a heavier foam core stick it's solid incredibly durable if not had any issues with it. Um, I'm just not a big as fan of the weight of the stick. I really love uh, lighter sticks for mobility and being able to um, whip my stick around, put it on the ground, put it on the ice, I mean, etc. So I think you give and take. Uh, with the foam core, it's a little bit more of a cushion when taking shots and uh, doesn't reverberate as much as the uh, composite, but hey, that's what you gotta give and take. Anyway, that's, uh, those are my reviews for, for these two sticks. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment on uh, this post.